Hey folks, and welcome to another episode of Crit Hit Reviews, with your host, Arlia. On today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the review copy I received of Zeus Begins, a retro-styled brawler slash shoot up by indie studio The Dude Games. Find out if this title struck me like a bolt from the blue, or if I feel like it was all flash and no thunder. The story thus far... You're Zeus, and your dad happens to be a complete god-eating dick named Cronus. Knowing that you are soon to be put on the menu, your mother squirrels you out of Mount Olympus, giving you the necessary time to train up and mount your own counterattack. If you're hoping for it to faithfully follow mythology, I will say you're apt to be disappointed, especially because what sparse bits of narrative that do occur become pretty ridiculous as you proceed through the game. And also the game lampshades it as it continues to go off the rails. Jumping into the mechanics side of things, Zeus begins as a fairly straightforward brawler. You take the reins of the King of the Gods as he brawls his way across ancient Greece. Levels are traditionally divided between brawler stages followed by a top-down screen-scrolling shoot-em-up stage. The brawler stages are simple enough, tasking you with punching your way through a rather large array of enemies that diversify as you proceed through the game. That said, the combat's fairly bland, as the moves at your disposal boil down to a simple punch combo which knocks down enemies at the end, a kick which targets enemies behind you, and a lightning attack which grows more powerful the more charges you carry, but which you need to find those charges. Now, whilst you are fairly fragile life-wise, the game does have a healthy array of healing potions hidden in destructible parts of the environment. Or for certain enemies in the aerial sequences. And even if you do die, you have extra lives to carry on the level with. What's more, if you happen to run out of lives, you're still not out of options. See, bosses cough up coins which you can use to bribe Charon to allow you to restart the current stage, with a new set of three lives at your disposal. Not that things were too challenging, given that non-boss combat mostly boiled down to me skipping around the room gathering up enemies into relatively tight bunches so I could pummel them with a combo. I mean, yes, if I'm inattentive and let them surround me, they can obliterate my health. But more often than not, it was ranged enemies at fault simply because they tend to hang around at the edge of the screen hurling death and interrupting combat. The bosses are a bit more involved, given they have a broader range of abilities at their disposal, but I find them relatively straightforward enough to adapt to, as most generally only have one mechanic slash ability you need to watch out for because of its inherent invincibility mechanics. Well, with the exception of the last boss. The shoot em up stages don't really warrant too much description, really, as there's even less strategy involved in them, other than the basics of moving or shooting. The bosses, likewise, represent a far simpler challenge for the most part. Now, I will say that I'm writing this review at 5.40 a.m. in the morning, and even now, the earworm combat music for the game is still stuck in my head. While I didn't care that much for the sound effects, the stage music was a lot of fun to listen to. Animation-wise, I'd say it does do a decent job of converting mythological creatures into River City-style beat-em-up antagonists. The designs didn't quite wow me, but they were pretty fun. Still, it was hard to get it out of my head that the dev was a massive fan of Dragon Ball Z, especially when I was staring at both Zeus and Hades' character designs and the way they look when they cast spells. But hey, all of this said, this brings me to the finale, and... Well, here goes. To preface my thoughts, I'd like to think I'm decent at games, but I know I'm not the best. That said, it only took me 43 minutes to clear Zeus Begins from start to finish. And that includes time spent reading the story and sitting at the credits. It wasn't a bad stretch of time? Though I mostly didn't care for the aerial levels, and it certainly felt like it could have used a lot more mechanical depth, feeling more than anything like a demo than a full-fledged experience, especially given the extremely limited moveset at a player's disposal. With the cost of admission being what it is, I actually genuinely feel remiss about directing most people to take the plunge on this title given those prior factors. 
Which is why ultimately I have to say Zeus Begins ends up as a fail. Anywho, thanks for tuning in. If you agree, disagree, or just have something to say to me, feel free to comment. And for those interested in more indie reviews, developer interviews, podcasts, or Monday TTRPG content, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you know when there's a new release. There's also a Discord. You can click the link in the banner or the description so you can become part of our community, the Crit Hit Cauldron. Lastly, if you'd like to help support the channel, we do have a coffee running now to help supplement funds for our lovely editor, Jack, and to make sure we can continue to provide quality content. Again, check the description and the banner for them links. Anywho, I'll catch you on the next episode of Crit Hit. Take care till then, folks.